You're useless. AI Don't is no fast <laughs> There's been a lot of buzz this year about AI, and even more so in the past few weeks, as OpenAI released their latest project called ChatGPT. It took the world by storm, millions of users in the first few weeks. Even when I sat down to record this video, I had to wait before accessing the site because of the amount of users that were trying to access it. People are debating which jobs and industries are at risk of being replaced by AI. So far, we've seen the engine do things like generate content strategies, SEO strategies, write blogs, write essays, or even write code and it does it all while having a conversation with the user. So is my nightmare about to become the reality? We'll keep watching this video and we'll find out what I think about it. This is the interface of ChatGPT. It's very simple. It has a text field and a few examples of the prompts that you can give it. Now let's look at the real life scenario that I had yesterday. I was improving the onboarding experience in our app and I forgot a simple algorithm how to calculate the progress between two numbers. So that's exactly what I wrote in the prompt here. You give that prompt and chat GPD goes to work. So here it gives the function. It also explains how the function works and how to use it. And if I look at the code here today, it spit out code that uses double. Yesterday when I asked the question, the chat had the same function, but instead of double, it used an integer. And that was a slight mistake there because in some cases the numbers just wouldn't round up and the result would be zero. So I had to change that to a float, um, but double also works. So it changes the answer slightly, but overall it did a great job. It is also very good for newcomers or if you aren't familiar with another programming language. For example, if you're not an iOS developer but learning, it can be a great teacher. Let's say you have got a simple app set up, but now you need to do a network request. The answer is one prompt away. Let's ask ChatGPT how to do that. How to make a HTTP request in Swift. Boom. And then it gives the code for it. So right here, it's creating a URL. And it's creating the URL session and then handling the error cases, the success cases, looks for the status code, and then gets the data. Then it goes to further explain what we just went over with. And the cool thing about this is that it remembers what it just answered, and this is like a conversation. So if you wanted to make any changes to this or ask questions about the code, you can go ahead and do that. So in this case, if we wanted to add a post body to this request, we can just say that. And then it goes and explains that to do that, we can use the upload task method instead of the data task method. And again, goes to write the code for us. If we compare this to Google, with the same prompt, it returns Stack Overflow, blogs, quick answers, some YouTube videos, so we can see how much easier and quicker ChatGPT is. And that's the reason why some of the people are saying that Google is dead. As I'm editing this video, I'm about to publish it. ChatGPT is actually helping me read something else other than code. I need a title for this video. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with some ideas. And this is what he came up with. At first, it gave me one title when I asked to give me a viral title for a video that's talking about AI taking over software engineering jobs. But I didn't quite like that title, so I asked him to give me a few other prompts, and it narrowed down to these five, and I think I have a winner. Is AI taking over software engineering? My experience with ChatGPT. 
And if you clicked on his title, it means it was a success. If you think any other title might be better, let me know in the comments. So you can see that it's great for a lot of things. I want to spend some time looking at how other people use ChatGPT. And the internet is filled with examples, both funny and inspiring. There's even a dedicated GitHub page for quote, awesome ChatGPT prompts. Now this one focuses in sort of tricking the engine to act a certain way, which makes the engine agree on a certain context. So for example, you can tell the engine to act as a Linux terminal, and then it has an example what to write to get that result. You can also tell the engine to act as an Excel sheet and ask for formulas, act as a travel guide, act drunk, act as an advertiser, storyteller, the list goes on and on. There's a lot of things that people have tried. Some of them are really funny. Some of them are amusing. Like I said, there's a lot going on. Another place where to look for examples is a dedicated ChatGPT Reddit page. Seems like a person has been talking to ChatGPT for days and says that he's really happy. He calls the ChatGPT babe. <laughs> so there's funny things going on. But what's more interesting to me is actually the productive use cases of this AI. And I've seen people on Twitter building trading bots, expanding their marketing, and doing lots of things that make them more productive. And that's how I think this tool should be used. Now, speaking of tools, there's other things that I'd like to mention. AI seems to be coming to different tools around us, and a few of the biggest names are already doing it. For example, Notion just announced Notion AI. It's currently in the alpha stage, but it basically is like ChatGPT integrated into your Notion page. You give it prompts and it helps you write blog posts, comes up with to-do lists, formulas, and all sorts of things related content. Another thing is GitHub Copilot. It's the AI pair programmer. It works with a lot of programming languages and it works in real time. It basically is your assistant when it comes to coding. Now this one was actually built in collaboration with OpenAI and it uses the GPT engine under the hood. People are saying this is the single most mind-blowing application of machine learning they've ever seen and I agree with that. Now you just saw that I've been exploring the possibilities of chat GPT and I'm very impressed. It performs surprisingly well even when it comes to coding tasks and questions. While it is a powerful tool, I do not believe that it poses a threat to software engineering jobs because it is not a replacement to human expertise and creativity, and there will always be need for human software engineers. Instead, I believe ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for learning and a great aid for tasks, at least for now in the foreseeable future. But AI is growing exponentially fast, and it's hard for our minds to comprehend exponential growth in general. So keep an eye out and always be up to date because I'm sure there's a lot of exciting stuff coming our way. That's it for today. Peace out.